So what they've done here is just take another use where people are using generic earbuds and said, what can we do in a category that isn't being currently addressed by any of their solutions and make it better? Their earbuds are designed for sleep. They either stick out too far, have wires wrapped all around your head, fall out, or if they do stay in, you wake up feeling like you had weird fingers jammed in your ears all night. Our tips are specially designed for all night comfort. They're super low profile, and the soft silicone keeps them comfortably snug in your ears all night. Or during the day, if you want to catch a quick nap in between Zoom calls, because you want to ease the stress about the fact that you shouldn't be doing Zoom calls for the rest of your professional life. I should become a musician. Damn it, mom. Speaking of music, the coolest part about Oslo Sleep Buds is they don't just offer a selection of calming soundscapes. You can stream whatever you want, really, anything you want. Music, movies, shows, podcasts, audiobooks, The Office, whatever puts your mind in its happy place. So stop suffering from trash sleep. Comfortably block, cover up, and replace the noise. Listen to what soothes you and put your brain and body to bed with Oslo Sleep Buds. Get your sleep on at oslosleep.com. Okay, well, this is a cool idea. It's kind of a, a basic business premise, right? There's a category of sleep or of earbuds, right? Apple earbuds, um, and then all the other alternate options down to, you know, I've seen them as low as 20 bucks for a pair. There's probably even ones cheaper than that. There's high-end ones, and there's ones for Samsung. There's ones for... Uh, specifically for people who are into high-end music and want a premium sound. So what they've done here is just take another use where people are using generic earbuds and said, what can we do in a category that isn't being currently addressed by any of their solutions and make it better? So there's plenty of people that fall asleep with them in either by accident or intentionally. They like to fall asleep listening to stuff. But if the piece of the earbud sticks out or it's uncomfortable, it's not good for sleeping, then that's a problem. That's a less than ideal solution. So instead of jumping into the general category and being just another earbud, they picked a niche, which is earbuds for sleeping that didn't have enough competition or didn't have any, I don't know, maybe there's one or two others, didn't have a lot of competition. They thought they could dominate this and went in with a specific design, a specific pitch for people, not just looking for earbuds, but for people looking for earbuds specifically to sleep. So it's smart marketing. You've got a differentiation. You've got a reason for people who already have earbuds to buy also yours, uh, to use them for a specific situation. And if they work well, work better than any other solution because they were designed for this specific use, then they'll probably do well. People will tell their friends, hey, I got these, You know, try them out. I love them, I can sleep in them. So they're doing it all right. That's business 101 is finding a niche you can dominate instead of trying to just jump into generic competition with a generic product. And it looks like they've got almost $5 million raised on Indiegogo. Oh, almost 19,000 people um, are into this. And it makes sense to me. There's millions and millions of people who like to listen to things when they're going to sleep. And so having a product that makes it comfortable to do that, comfortable to sleep, I think is going to be a hit. So um, I think this product will do well. And I think it's a strategy that anybody looking to start a business can use, right? Figure out a general category. And then within that category, find a subcategory that isn't being addressed properly, that's needs aren't being met and make that the place that you kind of wedge into the market.